Hi everybody, Dr. Jen here. This month we're talking about mindfulness and mindful parenting. And one of the big pillars of mindful parenting that I wanna talk about today is the idea of acceptance of what is. This is a really hard one for the human brain, I think, to wrap its head around. We, if you think about your own life, we spend a lot of time wishing that things were different than they actually are. And that doesn't mean that we can't work towards goals, but what it means is that we are a lot happier if we can see our thoughts, our feelings, the good and the bad, the struggle, and accept that that just is part of life and move through that, uh, lean into that more directly instead of constantly trying to avoid or change the things that are happening. So when it comes to your kids, how you can apply this is by making sure that the expectations you're setting for them are realistic and based on the acceptance of who your child is at that present moment and not what you're hoping that they'll be somewhere down the road. A great example of this is my son uh, last year wasn't doing a great job of listening in class. Those of you with seven-year-old boys, you might be familiar with this specific challenge. And uh, so our expectations for him were not that he became the best listener in class. That's not taking into account what is. And what is, is that he was a seven-year-old boy who was struggling with listening in class. So what our expectation was for him is just to see some improvement in the regulation of that behavior. So I remember getting his report card back and looking at the, those, uh, that part of the report card and his, his mark had gone from satisfactory to good. And we had a big party about this. We were thrilled and we made sure we knew and that he knew that we were very happy with that change that he had shown. Now it wasn't excellent, it wasn't even very good, but it was an improvement. It was him working towards uh, being better in that capacity within a reasonable and realistic expectation of what he could achieve. And the more we can set those realistic expectations about life for our kids, the easier it will be for them to be mindful of their own capacity, their own thoughts and their own feelings, instead of working so hard to avoid what is, because that leads to a lot of suffering and unhappiness. In fact, that probably leads to more suffering and unhappiness than those challenges, other challenges along our way. So we want to make sure that we're letting our kids know that they can accept what is and still work towards um, positive change if they need to. But that base level acceptance is so important. 